What is up you guys, we're about another video and right here I'm going to be showing you guys Dark Jane. But before we get into the video, I pretty much want to sh uh, talk about Auto B, um, the, the software that I've been making for uh, Minecraft add-ons. Also, my channel got demonetized for some reason, I'm not sure why, but um, we're still here. Alright, so other than that, um, Auto B has been updated a lot it moved from patreon it's not on patreon no more we now have it on um shopify so you can just go there and buy it for one price and then it'll give you a license key and it'll give you the um the auto b itself you'll then message for right now only for right now because i'm not finished with my store but y'all would pretty much message me or eldest and you'll send us your license key and then we'll pretty much verify you from there. So that way you can use the tool because if you don't, uh, if you try to share the tool with someone else, they can't, they can't get into it. That's all it is, it's just a way to keep thieves out. But other than that, um, I'm pretty much just gonna be showing y'all how to make a mod pack with Auto B while making Dark Jang. Um, all right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come here and create a world, of course. You're going to want to turn on these three settings right here. I don't know what these are. These are new because Minecraft has been updating a lot. That's another reason why y'all don't see Dawncraft yet. Because Dawncraft has like a lot of mods. And they keep updating Minecraft so much. So the more they update Minecraft, the, the more that I can't like release Dawncraft yet. So I want y'all to know that I'm not slacking on Dawncraft. I, I make it like every day I sit there and work with it and everything. But... It's not gonna be really finished until they fully update Minecraft because every time they update it, it breaks something. You wanna turn recipe unlocking off as well. Also make sure cheats are on. Um, you do have to label these normally, but that's why you have, that's why you get auto B. Cause when, once you have auto B, you don't have to do any of that anymore. Like this, this whole thing, won't even matter you won't you won't need this but to test out your mods yeah i would i would most definitely test all your mods before you use auto v just saying all right so let's create the world all right the world's still creating but um i was gonna say all the patreon members if you bought the tool from patreon I need you to go to Discord or just email me. I'll put my email in the um, description. You need to you need to email me or message me on Discord so you can get the tool because you already paid for it monthly. That means you don't have to pay for it again. You already been paying for it monthly that you don't have to pay the actual price now. So just make sure that if you've already paid for the tool, you message me so you can get your stuff. Alright, so now we're inside of Dark Jank. This would be Dark Jank with, without it being yes, um, well, I mean, the creepers were merged to together. So, yeah. This and is I pretty much what it can look like. This is, I'm trying to make a Dark Souls type mod pack. That's all this is. Since it, um, Dawncraft is broken right now. I'm trying to at least give y'all something. Because I know I used to make mod packs all the time. I know guys, I know. Alright, I most definitely know. Frosty's losing it. Something went wrong. Uh, look, see like right here, this would be a mod that's broken. The inventory move is broken. So I need to remove that, you see? I'm gonna leave the world and come back though. So my uh, inventory is closed. I should have removed that mod. I'll be right back y'all. All right, so now we can open the crafting. So we got all the weapons, we got all the clothes, we got all the fishes, and we got all the blocks. So the only thing that was broken was that inventory thing. Seems like. All right, so let's get up out of here. Which I've already merged my packs, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go delete my auto B. I'm gonna type in auto B. I already downloaded it, so. All right, Auto B opens up. Also, this this MC Packer thing, um, 
Sometimes when you add mods, I might not have a mod that actually does that. So I'll have to see. I might have a mod that does it. Let me see. Nah, all my manifests are good. Let me, um, I could have just removed, removed all the mods from the list. Um, all right, basically MC Packer is used for mods that, so say, say we have a mod, right? All right, let's, see, let's go here. So this is a very good example. All right, so let's go right here. All right, look. So you see how all these are out there folder? They're all MC packs. And then when I go inside of it, right? It's just the files and the folders. It's not. All right, so if you get something like this, let me, let me just make like, I'm gonna make a folder. I'm trying to find the best way to make an example of this. All right, so add-on. This is the add-on, right? All right, then in here we got the add-on name. It's, it's another folder. All right, so look, we would, we would make this a, um, we would make this a MC pack. This is how you get a broken add-on in our tool and, it, and the way you fix it. All right, so look, we go in here, you see how it says MC pack, and then this one says MC pack, and it's the files, and then this one's like MC pack add on then the files. That's you can't you can't you can't have a mod like that. If you have a mod that has any of those, it'll it'll break it, and you have to use MC packer. I, I can probably make one of these into that real quick for y'all. We're gonna go to Dark Dream and do it. All right, let me rename one of these to a zip. All right, then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to Dark Dream. We're gonna unzip this. Oh man, I didn't mean to do. All right, so extract this to its folder. All right, now we got a, we got this. All right, look, I'm gonna do this to add on. All right, <laughs> this is gonna make it to where it's a, a messed up mod. All right. We put those in there. Now, let's just let's just zip this exactly how it is. We're gonna MC pack it exactly how it is because this is how modders mess up their add-ons with our tool. All right, so look, you got MC Packer. You, you want to add all? You want to add your mods? All right, so look, we go to add mods. We're not even gonna worry about MC Packer yet. Okay, we got all our mods. You hit check manifest. Look, you see that? It's because the mods are not in, in where it needs to be. This one, all right, I open this one. You see all the files. You open this one, it's a folder, folder, then files. It can't be like that. So you'd, you'd go here to MC Packer. You'd click, you'd click on the one that's messed up. You'd go to output. Or, all right, I don't know what happened, y'all. Um, but we're back. All right, so go back to MC Packer, like I was saying. After you do that, click on the mod that's messed up. Click on the area that you want to put it in. Hit start. Process is completed successfully. All right, now go to add files. Now you have this, which would be the actual add-on. So you drag this here. Delete this. Now grab all these. Open them. Check manifest. See? Now you have no errors at all, none at all. It doesn't pop up. All right, so now what we wanna do is go to browse. We wanna put our mod pack in a separate folder, which I probably need to go here and actually delete these because I didn't, I already merged my packs. So delete those right there. Another thing I have to update in the tool, which won't take long, like y'all can already buy the tool and stuff. You'll, you'll get all the updates. This this part right here, I have to update it. It's not. This doesn't work. If you if you click this, it's not gonna do anything. Um, it's not hard for me to fix this, but it is hard. So just gotta bear with me. Uh, other than that, yeah. Put your put your mods here. All right. So now you can. This is something that's coming too. 
All right, so then you start your process. <clears throat> and remember, not all mods will work together like that right there. Like, they did work together earlier, but when you merge them, there's, there's things that can be duplicated. Like, when they're not merged together, they're duplicated separately. I can't explain it. It's really hard to say. Like, mods are weird for bedrock, but not hard. But then weird. But then hard. But then not harder. All right, so look. Listen. The add-ons you are using may not be compatible and may cause a bug. So you can just go ahead and go. You can still do it. There's like two mods that are broken. Because that message popped up two times. So there's literally like two mods that are messed up. Which isn't that bad. Alright, so it's just it's just going from step by step. Just merging a lot of things. It, it fixes some duplicates. It doesn't fix all duplicates yet. There's there's a lot of things and add-ons actually. And there's some stuff that we can't even change. So I mean you have to bear with us. Um Alright, so now we got the merge packs. Oh yeah, another thing that you have to do, just for now, just for now, y'all. You don't have to do it after you get the update. Um, cause Minecraft just updated. So you have to go into the manifest. Alright, give my manifest time to open. Why isn't it opening? Oh, okay. Computer's being slow. Alright, so you want to go here to the minimum engine version and you want to change this 0 to a 3. Literally, literally, that's all you got to do and then save it. Close out of it. Done. Then do the same thing to the behavior packs manifest. So it won't, won't even take you long. Won't even take you long. When, once we update it, it'll do it automatically by itself. Alright, so done. Just so, just so, just so the manifest matches the game version. Taking it a little minute to load them. We're going to speed up the video a little bit. Alright, so look, now we have the mods. We can go to this world, actually, probably. I feel like we can. And just just remove everything goes because I mean they're all the same mods already in this world you know so go here and remove every single mod remove all these and then all you gotta do is boom add that and done now we go play alright we're in alright so you see like you see what I mean? That texture pack that was here, it probably had something duplicated in it. But we, our tool doesn't fix every single duplicate file yet. So you, you gotta work with us. You gotta bear. You gotta bear with us, guys. And you gotta think Minecraft, uh, Mojang is actually removing stuff. They're removing things and adding new things. But, um... I mean, it's not bad. The UI still works down there, which last time it didn't work for me because I didn't know that inventory move didn't work. I didn't know that that didn't work at all. But, um, yeah, you see everything. The sounds work, too. Um, the structures work. Pretty sure the mobs work. I mean, I just saw a custom mob right there. Yeah, there he is. There's some custom mobs, pretty sure. Pretty positive. Alright, so let's go see if everything else works. Got this blood organ gun. I don't know what that is, but we got some tea. Then we got a thunder thunder crash bomb. Got a war axe. Vanilla quest book. Mm, spring roll. Don't care about it much. Samurai sword. Rose water. Harbor. Where is the um, organ that that you shoot out the gun? 
You'll need to install flourishing. So you have to download a mod for that. Because I don't even have that mod on there. All oh, the blocks are here too. So everything's still here. It's just some stuff is gone. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not... <coughs> Auto B isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's actually worth it in my opinion. Um, there we are, the mobs. Alright, the sounds work on that. I have to have the organs for this gun. Here they are. I don't know how to shoot this gun, honestly. I've never shot it. I, I've never shot this even without the uh, mods being merged. I don't even think I'll be a ghost. I don't think I can finish that gun or something. So I'm just slow. I don't know how to do it. <coughs> Guy, what's going on? What's going on over here? Guy's shooting a whole flamethrower. Oh, the quest table works. See, the quest book could be worth breaking everything, actually. <coughs> You just have to work with things guys. You can't you can't add certain mods together. It just doesn't work. But you can get a good mod pack out of here. Because I actually have a good mod pack. I have a whole kit PvP mod pack actually. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, I don't know. You can you can merge stuff, you can work with it, you can, you can everything works. Not everything, but you know you know what I mean. We're we're working on it. As soon as we finish, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to make Java mod packs out of this thing. We're also working on Java B, which will actually turn uh, Java mods into Bedrock add-ons. We've actually started on it. It's not too hard, but it's crazy. It'll probably take a year to finish, honestly. I mean, probably not, but then again, yeah. But other than that, we can um, go to the shop, I guess. Alright, so this is the shop right here. You pretty much just come here. You'll add it to your cart. You can uh, look at my socials right there. You can ask for help here. Uh, you can just put your email here so you can get updates. You can go to Discord here. Uh, there's another support thing there. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah, you go to your cart and you just check out. It's mean, as simple as that. Pretty sure everybody knows. Type in your information. It'll give you the tool, give you a key, and then we'll verify you through uh, GitHub and other things like that. But other than that, guys, stay frosty. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, and peace, y'all.